We are Sunrise. Sunrise Christian Academy. We got size and strength, toughness, and tenacity. Ain't none of that soft stuff around here. This year, we only have one goal. One goal. To be the national champ. To be number one. One. The number one team in the country. The best in the land. We are number one. That's all I know. This is going to be an unforgettable season. It's all out war for number one in the country. Everyone wants that throne. But this seat is taken. That trophy is ours. Raise your level of drive. Raise your level of fight. This is probably the biggest stage I've ever been on. <laughs> Nobody can stop us. Jimmy, wake up. But us. There ain't no competitors here. None. This is Sunrise Christian Basketball. Oh! Super team. Super team. Super team. Let's go! Welcome into Good Day Kansas Rewind. I'm here with Luke Barnwell. He is the head coach for the Sunrise Christian Academy basketball team. I know you guys have a loaded roster. Can you kind of run through some players and where they might be playing next year? Yeah, absolutely. We have so many weapons that some nights you don't know who to guard. A good problem to have. Yeah, we returned three guys off our team last year that played quite a bit, starting with Zach Clemens. Zachary Clemens. Kansas commit from Texas. Yeah, big Texas right here, yeah. Big C. I grew up an hour away from San Antonio on a ranch, so I'm actually a little country boy. The horses, all that. You can run to the rim, you can yeah. dunk, you can play down low, but you can also shoot. And when you're talking with Coach, how does he like to use you in different ways? Because you do have that skill set to spread the floor and also be down low. If someone cuts off one thing, you need to go to another. He put me anywhere and I'm ready to do anything. It's a, like a handyman, you know? No, no, no. Right here, that's the superstar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Kendall Brown, who was top 20 in the country. He signed and committed to play at Baylor. I saw you throw down some crazy dunks. I saw on your highlight tape you've dunked over Zach. I've never played with anyone more athletic than him. <laughs> yeah, they call me the pogo stick for a reason. He's what, 6'8? And just athletic, straight athleticism. <laughs> And why did you make the decision to come to Sunrise Christian Academy and play basketball here? Well, ultimately to get better because I knew where I was at. It wasn't the highest level and I just want to play at the highest high school basketball level. And then we hit some home runs and added a local talent, Grady Dick, who's from Wichita and has just about anybody in college basketball recruiting him. Mr. Grady Dick. Yeah. What time is it today, my boy? It's not even on. <laughs> he's always doing funny stuff, always playing around, but he's also that guy on the court. He's an animal. What is it like to be playing for Sunrise Christian Academy, which is obviously located in Wichita, and being from Wichita? It's super special. The fact that the school like this is just kind of in my backyard, in the end, it was kind of a no-brainer. And then we added the number one point guard in the country, Kennedy Chandler. When I say number one recruit at the point guard position in the country, what you know, what runs through your mind? Uh, you know, that's just me working hard, and just, I'm just blessed to thank the man above. Kennedy, he's the best point guard I've ever played with. What are some of the teams that are on the horizon? La Lamere, Oak Hill, IMG, Montverde. We got to play those guys two or three times, and it's just super intense and super competitive, and they're just as talented as we are. And what are the team expectations for this year? I'll go with one Geico. I chose Sunrise, you know, so I can put them on the map. I'm trying to let people know that we're the number one team in the nation. Every season has challenges. Obviously, this year now there's COVID. COVID changed everything. We had three guys playing video games with a kid that tested positive that wasn't on our team. At that time, no one had symptoms, and we had all just been close to each other, sitting next to each other, playing the games, having fun. We found out everybody had COVID like a couple weeks later, and everybody was like, yo, what? I remember calling the lady about the test results, and she's like, well, it's probably going to be more easy for us to say who isn't positive than who is. COVID obviously was not in the script, especially everybody at one time. We had built ourselves up, we went through our eight week conditioning and this hits right before we're getting ready to just tip off the season. We basically had to start over. Let's step on the scale before we start. Oh, it could be worse. <laughs> Damn. All off ways. Everybody. KB down, Kenny down seven. We haven't been in the weight room in a while. We're getting used to it. That's what we got today on the board. Grind on stop. Ugh. The strangest part, I'd say, you know, being out of shape, honestly, because when I came back, I'm breathing super heavy. I've never felt like this before. Ugh. Did I miss the weight room? Um, <laughs> I can get back to you on that one. 
I know COVID set a lot of people back, especially us as a team. Number two, preseason team in the country, expectations at an all-time high, and then from there it was, oh, are we going to play? From that to, okay, if we do play, are we going to be any good? We were shut down for 26 days uh, with COVID running rampant around here and some of us getting it. So this is our first chance to play against somebody other than ourselves in practice. Weird circumstances the last few weeks, weird eight to 10 months. Some of y'all, this is the first time you played since state tournaments or there wasn't a whole lot of AAU going on, right? The game has kind of been taken from you for a while. So enjoy today. I mean, it's a chance to put a Sunrise jersey on, be with your brothers and compete against somebody. If you take it for granted, that's kind of on you. It's our first impression. Like, hopefully we walk out of here tonight like, man, we got a squad. We're gonna play the right way. We're gonna play hard. We're gonna play together. We're gonna do the right things. We don't wanna leave no sour taste in our mouth. Let's make the most of it. Right? Let's go. We haven't played in nine months. We gotta take the rest off. Face, turn and face, turn and face. Q and Jalen switch. Q and Jalen switch. Coach Luke is very hard on you. He's going to hold you accountable for everything. He's not going to let you slide just because you're this or this. It's more of an exhibition game, but you know, it's a good time for us to get a little run there. J-Mac, he's an undersized big boy. He catches the love anywhere you throw it. I'm like a spark plug. Come off the bench and make a couple great plays. Couple things. It's gonna be the best team in the country. So we're winning by a boatload. I'm gonna watch each possession. Grady Dick is a knockdown shooter. All day, Grady Dick. Good. Kenny Poto. He's really, really good. I think he's really underrated. He's 6'11". He can shoot, he has post moves, and he's a great passer. Oh, there we go. Kenny, you better make this. Put some heat on him. Woo! <laughs> Kenny's just trying to get a double-double. Who are we kidding? When someone takes the charge, everybody gets up. I don't care if it scores 100 to 0. Everybody get up. The best play in basketball is Willie taking the charge. It's just good, you know, get a little exhibition game in before it gets real next week. Our team is really like underrated as like one of the most talented teams. We got a lot of versatility like at every position. We can move a lot of guys around. We got length, we got size. Last year we was like the underdogs and no one really expected us to be as good as we were. We was gonna go to Geico as a three seed. That got cut short. I thought I was gonna go the whole COVID season undefeated. But I got it and I was like, dang. COVID is literally the worst thing ever. No job. Sunrise is a lot. It's a lot of things. It's family. We got Sunrise. We got Bella Cancel. We got Steven. It's a small school in the middle of nowhere. So you can ask people from Wichita and they don't even know where this place is. And it's like 10 minutes. I mean, what's good? Them boys are having a little bit too much fun with them girlfriends. You live with G-Day? Hello. Coach. I 
think we're like the little guy in town being in Kansas, but have achieved exponentially with grit and toughness. And then when we add talent to it, that's when it blows up. Today, we're here with Kenny Photo. Uh, scored 21 points against uh, On Point Academy. How do you feel? Kenny, he's been at Sunrise for quite a bit, and he kind of gets grumpy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're going to have to practice right now. Day one, for two big time games this weekend. Sunrise Academy is strict, but it pushes you every single day to be the best version of yourself. We got a big win Saturday, but it was more of just a trial run. Big weekend ahead. We play in Rock Hill, South Carolina at the Battle of the Rock. Friday night, we have uh, Lake Norman Christian against Mikey Williams' team. he's probably going to put up some numbers because he's talented, but we're trying to make his night difficult. The emphasis for the week, one possession at a time. We're building right now for what we're going to do Friday at 8.30. Yes, sir. Hey, three-man weave, let's go. Three -man weave. Good group right there, really good group, really good group, really good group. Good, 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 good. The weekend that we're getting ready to go into is why you come to a place like Sunrise. We circle big events like this to play the best players and play the best team, so there should be a little juice and excitement. Guard without Fallon, we're going to be so good defensively that we're not even going to let the whistle matter. We're going to guard without our hands, we're going to move our feet. They can't even screw you because you're not going to give them a chance to, okay? All right? Hands back, hands back, hands back, hands back. Keep it in front. Ah. Finish the play, finish the play, finish it out, finish it out. Oh yeah, you got to keep him away from the rim. You got to keep him away from the rim. Good, Will, good. Come on, see hands back. The thing that makes Coach Luke so special is that he's going to get on you like no matter who you are, no matter how many stars you got, your profile, anything. But the next day, he's going to be the same as he always is. Perfect. Good. 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 All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for the opportunity to have a big week. Uh, finally, we get to hit the road. Man, it's going to be great. We get, to, we get to do what we love to do. We thank you for this opportunity. In Christ's name we pray, man. Amen. Sunrise on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Sunrise. Four, five, six. Family Family together. on the next super team. This is the first real game of the season, Mikey Williams and Lake Norman. Mikey's a great player, we all know what he can do. He is a shown over time, so do we. We get to the arena, it's actually a big crowd. I haven't seen LaMelo show up. It's a grown man game, I'm here. I think our game plan is gonna force Mikey to have problems. He's drill right every time! Mikey sees an opening, he's gonna make you pay. How is he dribbling like this, and like this, and like this? Where the hell is everybody at? Oh no, nah, they was hooping, hooping. You see that? Hey yo, you need to watch these videos right here and subscribe. I'm mind blown. My head hurt.